Hey busy crafters, welcome back to my channel. I got that heart wreath form from Hobby Lobby. I had to pay full price for it because I couldn't find any of them at the Dollar Tree. I'm using Yarn B Eternal Bliss in soft pink. I saw this heart being done with nautical rope by Brenda from Rustics and Lace DIY and with burlap from Whitney from Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots. I will put their links to in the description box below. So I decided to do one of my own version with yarn. So I'm just wrapping this yarn around the entire wreath form, um, the top and the bottom. And I'm going through and I'm going to go ahead and do it all the way until it is completely done. And this, this heart took on something different than I was expecting. So now I'm just going ahead and gluing up the rest of it. And there it is. It looks kind of cute and fluffy. It's very soft. I, I love this yarn. I love working with this yarn. So now we're going to be going on with the roses. I got these roses from Amazon last year with a, for another project. The color of these roses are taupe and nude, as well as ivory. This project took on an elegant Victorian feel. I was originally going to just put three roses at the bottom, but the... The whole project seemed a little blah, so I think it needed the fourth one. And I turn, I was very happy with the way it all turned out in the end. So now I'm going to be gluing the roses to the uh, wreath form. These roses are made of foam, and they look realistic. And they come with the leaves, and the leaves really look realistic too. I will try to find the link to these roses and put them in the description box down below. Because these roses are just absolutely amazing, and they come in multiple different colors. It's quite lovely. The pearl ribbon that I'm about to show right here, I got from Hobby Lobby years ago. And it's Merchant 41 Decorative Trim in the color Ivory. I should have put the pearls on first because I had to do this part in sections. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video so that way my channel can go ahead and grow and that would really help me out a lot and I would appreciate it so much. I wrapped the pearls around kind of loosely and spaced apart. I didn't want it to all to be bunched up together. Now I have to go ahead and do it on the other side. Like I said, I should have put the pearls on first, but I wasn't thinking and kind of excited about doing this project. And even though there is a little mess up here as far as having to do the heart in sections, it did turn out really, really pretty. And I really like the way it actually turned out. So now I'm just finishing up with the pearls here. And I'm going to flip it over to see if I need anything else added to it. And I'm spacing them out. Some of them kind of fell loose together. And there you go. There it is there. Now, this is where I decided that there should be another rose on top just to kind of give it all, you know, that effect. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try to put a leaf in there. But I think it was just fine with the one set of leaves. And so now here we go. We're gluing it on. And there we go. Now it's almost done. This ribbon right here, I found at a yard sale for 50 cents. You couldn't beat that. And there's a lot on that roll too. So I'm going ahead and measuring it all out, putting it in the back. I'm going to hot glue it in the back. So yeah, there I go hot gluing it. Because I'm going to make it where you can hang on a banister for your staircase or something like that. So you could go on a, a decorative pole or, or whatever. That was my goal on this one because I have a really pretty banister that I really like decorating up for different holidays. So here I am. I'm lifting it up and it's kind of leaning forward. So I'm putting an extra bead of glue across the top of it and it really holds the heart in place. So now when it's on the banister, it's not even leaning forward. And it looks really nice as the picture was going to be coming up soon to show you what it looks like on the banister. Right here I'm using 3M Velcro tape. This tape comes in handy a lot and I use it a lot in some of my projects. Especially for the banister things. And this tape is so wonderful as well as that I actually use it and it's holding up my dash cam in my car. And it's still going strong. So now I'm putting this on and I actually mess up here and I have to take it off and redo it because they were kind of, they didn't really work out quite well. I end up cutting back of the piece of the lace off and putting it behind the tape and it, the, you can't even feel the tape coming through the lace anymore and it turned out really nice. Remember to subscribe. I really enjoy doing these videos and showing what I can do. 
And there it is right there. And now we move on to DIY number two. Right here I'm using Hello Hobby white acrylic chalk paint. I got this truck, the wooden truck at Hobby Lobby last year for a different project completely and I decided to go ahead and just do a Valentine's Day project with this truck. I probably have to go get more for the projects that I originally wanted to do for the different seasons. I painted the main part of the truck in this white acrylic chalk paint. The Cajun fenders will be in the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics metallic acrylic paint in festive red. I put two coats of white paint on the truck as well as three coats of the festive red on the fenders and on the cage of the truck. Now I'm going to be painting the wheels black and I put one coat on each of the wheels and then I go ahead and get my Curate color metallic paint in silver and the uh, rims are going to be in that color and I put three coats on there each coat got darker and darker with the the silver and it really turned out nice and I liked it that way then I cut off on my Cricut and these words say Cupid's fresh flowers and I cut off on the Paper Studio Permanent Red Vinyl. And that's what these words are from. I put them on either side. That way they can, this truck can be seen from all different sides. And it turned out really nice. I'm struggling a little bit because the Cricut transfer tape is very strong. And really did not want to let go of those letters. Hey guys, remember to like this video, share this video with your family and friends, hit the notification bell so you know at any time I'm uploading, and comment down below to let me know what you think of this video. I do plan on uploading every Friday, hopefully around noontime. I really tell you, that Cricut transfer tape was really giving me problems. It did not want to let go of the stickers. So now I'm going to be adding the little Cupid. Cupid is done in cursive. So I'm going to be adding that to the top of the, the truck right there. And it, yeah, it turns out really cute. The other side I had to do it a little bit different. So I should have done it both on the same on the other side. But I had to put it directly on top instead of at an angle like it is here. And we're just about done because the words were really tiny. It was giving me even more problems with Cupid. And there it goes. And these roses I got from the Dollar Tree. This is the first time I've seen them out this year is these roses. And they're foam as well. They're not as elegant and real looking as the ones from Amazon. But they're really pretty as well. And they came in red, the ivory, and pink. And I'm using the ivory and the red for this particular project. Then we're going to be moving on to these sticks that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And they have little hearts on them. And I'm going to be using the pink and the red hearts. I'm cutting them down to different lengths. So that way it gives a little bit of dimension. And it, it really pops the truck. Like it's, it turns out really nice. And now this is a decoration that's on my fireplace. So right now I'm just cutting them down and figuring out where I want them exactly. And I think four of them did, did the job just right. 
I ended up having to go through the little crate and hot glue it all down. And there you go. That's my little trick. On to DIY number three. This is my Cupid's Hot Chocolate Hot Chocolate Mix. There is going to be a recipe in the, the description box for these. I got these jars at Hobby Lobby about six, seven years ago, and I'm pretty sure that they were on sale because I really wait for everything to go on sale. Again, I cut these words out on the Paper Studio Permanent Red Vinyl. I attached them to these jars. The bigger jar says marshmallows, and then the two smaller jars, this one I'm working on is Cupid's Hot Chocolate, and the next one is just regular hot chocolate. I know everybody's getting into the spring stuff, and that's going to be my next video is spring. But right now where I live in the mountains, we have still the threat of snow coming this weekend and ice and everything. And it's been hitting, you know, 28 degrees at night. So I thought this would be a nice send off on this video for the hot chocolate. I printed out these little hearts. Um, on my Cricut. I use my Cricut for a lot of my projects. My Cricut is one of my best friends. And now I'm going to be putting on the regular hot chocolate vinyl for this jar. And even with this project, the Cricut tape really gave me a heartache. It was a little bit easier on that one. Here's the recipes. You guys can go ahead and pause it for these recipes and go ahead and tweak them however you want. And then there's the end product, my hot chocolate marshmallows.